time we talked, man, you, you compared your first few weeks as to trying to drink water out of a fire hose. Has it has it kind of slowed down for you? And what have these past few months been like for you? Yeah, it's slowed down. Um, I think we've kind of gotten to cruise control. Um, you know, the, the speed is still high, um, but but it's almost like Christmas time um, in the world of college football. You know, so we uh, we get to buckle down recruiting. Um, obviously, it never stops, but it slows down just in terms of, you know, the fall 23 season. So we get to lock in and and uh, coach football and, and compete and get after it and go try to win some football games. You, you spoke a little bit about you want your quarterback to be a leader on and off the field. As, as all these guys have gotten to campus, has there been anyone who has emerged a, a, as the leader? And, and if not, when do you want that decision to be finalized going into the season? Yeah, to be honest with you, no one is, has alert, uh, emerged as the leader. Um, I think that I have a bunch of leaders in that locker room um, for sure. Um, but but just kind of holistically, man, and, and I think last year uh, – DJ Kenny put it a great way in terms of his reference to a 53 man roster in NFL terms. You know, those travel spots are coveted and those 22 spot and, uh, starting spots are even more coveted. Um, and you got to earn that. And that starts back in January and, and they're going to earn it day to day um, in fall camp, you know, and, and that's kind of how that thing's going to go. But all three of those guys in the quarterback room are tremendous from Calzada, um, Stubblefield, and Torres. All three of those guys bring a skill set um, and their own little twist on it and they own uh, their own characteristics and, and, um, I am I'm really happy with with the state of that room. I can tell you that. Brandon Porter is probably going to be the leader at, at the wide receiver position. You being a former wide receiver coach in that position, who who are some other guys that you're looking to step up into some major key roles going into the season for Incarnate Word? Yeah, I was I was fortunate enough to uh, really have my hands all over the receiver room. Obviously, that was the position that I've, I've coached um, since 2018. And, and Brandon Porter was one of those guys that I recruited um, and got here last May. And he's had a tremendous offseason. So I, so he knows the expectations. Me and him have a great relationship and, and we talk often. Um, so he kind of knows where he stands on that. And and the other piece is that we're bringing back some some guys that have produced at this level. I mean, Jalen Campbell um, has started a bunch of games for us and made a bunch of plays. Um, he's got a guy that has tremendous speed out on the edge. Um, C.J. Hardy. I think he started the 14 games last year. Um, he might have missed one here or there. Um, you got guys like Marquez Perez, who had a touchdown in the first three to four games. Uh, Kalen Taylor, um, who is an explosive guy, especially in the return game, and has really taken his, his steps forward um, and kind of developing as a receiver. That first year, we were kind of back and forth with receiver and running back, and he's really um, understanding the game, understanding leverage, um, and is blossoming. Um, we brought in uh, Caleb Chapman um, and Jalen Travis, who are both tremendous guys um, at one point in their careers right at the Power 5 level. Um, they have a tremendous skill set, obviously, um, but they're extremely humble, um, and they lead, they lead by example. Um, they've, they've, they've kind of are getting into the groove of their leadership, but, but first and foremost, they put in work every single day. And I'm, I'm very happy with those guys. Um, you know, and, and, and I've talked about this before. We don't just recruit the best player or the most talented player. We, we recruit the fit. Um, and those guys fit what we want to do and they fit that room. Um, and I, and I couldn't be more excited to, to see them, um, blossom and then we got some some other guys that are that i'm excited to see in camp aaron bradley's a guy that has has been through the process and has a tremendous skill set as well um we brought in some young talent um lontrell turner um aka boo bam um and then jamison garcia are both young whiteouts that are tremendous um and were highly recruited guys that that i think um will really will really have great careers here at uiw the first three weeks, Coach, I mean, let's just be honest. Those are going to be three difficult out-of-conference games, all on the road as well, especially with that FBS game week one. Talk a little bit about how important it is for you and your team to get off to a hot start this season, even with the difficult road schedule. Oh, I think it's extremely tremendous, you know, and 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 we'll talk through camp. Um, you know, I got some built in um, sessions where it's one on one me talking to the team and, and then just talking about things ahead and and the and the winds and turns that could come with the season just so everybody's on the same page and, and we react the right way. Um, but I think momentum is huge in football. You know, who has the mo? Um, that 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 wins a lot of football games. And if we can capture that early, that's that's the plan. Um, and, and I'm excited um, because I think that these guys um, are going to be tested early, especially going on the road and, and playing some really good football teams. Um, I think it's good. I think it's 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 going to uh, battle test us for for conference play. That's for sure. Coach, uh, glad to glad I got to catch up with you again. I appreciate your time. No doubt, Zach. Take care, brother. How much? Where that role? Where that kind of attitude of people and recruiting people all the time and and caring about them? How much of that came from what you learned from GJ and Eric and and even before you began coaching? Yeah, I mean, I, my my father, God rest his soul, was was a good good person, um, and I and I learned that early. 
um, you know, uh, whether it's uh, the president of the company um, or the, the guy that cleans the floors at night. Um, you treat them all the same. Um, you treat them with dignity and respect. Um, and, that, and that's how I approach life on a day to day basis, or at least I try. I'm not I'm not perfect, um, but that's that's what I try. You know, and if, as long as you're striving for that and you treat people um, with a genuine and an authentic um you know, tone and, and expressions and, and you show them that you care about what's going on in their life, then I think that um, good results come from that. Oh, I, I agree. And I want to know, how's the family going? Is anyone in the Kilo household getting some sleep yet? <laughs> uh, my fiance is tremendous. Um, yeah, she's she's been, um, as the closer we get to football, she's been getting up more and more and I'm getting to sleep a little bit more. Um, now, I'm an early riser, uh, so I get out of the house, you know, 435 and, and try to get in the weight room and uh, clear my head and and get going. So she's been tremendous. My mother has been tremendous. Um, I'm I'm you know I'm surrounded by great people at work and and you know I realized how important that was by being surrounded by great people in my household, um, family and friends wise. Um, and and there's a lot of carryover carryover and and parity um, into the workplace. To ask you, um, what have you seen from like uh, guys from like Zach Calzada? You know, ever since he got to UIW. Um, how has he been in this offensive system and um, what do you expect from him this upcoming season? I think I, my expectations are high, but I don't think they're higher than Zach's uh, own expectations. You know, he's a competitor. Um, he came here, like I said uh, before, he came here uh, exemplifying the three things that, that we want. He loves football. He knows how to respond to, to being told no, and and he's got something to prove. Um, and, and you can tell by the way that he approaches um, every single day. Um, he's been this summer during workouts, he's been wearing a a headband and we've been calling him the karate kid because he's been uh he's been working his crap right. and getting himself not just physically but mentally ready um to to prove himself um and he's chomping at the bit and 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 uh, as far as scheme wise i mean he he is a very talented young man um and and he can do the things that that he needs to do to to make us successful on offense um, um but but it's a day-to-day process you know those the guys around right. him got buy in he's got a become that leader organically. I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a big believer in like, Hey, this is your leader. Um, I think it has to happen. And, and the fact that he's been here since January, um, gives him an advantage in becoming that leader. Um, and, and he's, he's, uh, he cherishes that moment. I think he's ready to go. Right. And, um, today there was a poll, a preseason poll released, um, and Southeast Louisiana was number one. How do you guys handle that as far as like, motivation wise how are you guys handling that yeah i mean all of our guys i mean they're on their phones quite a bit young people are, are that way right. i pitch myself on my phone um so you see it um you kind of file it away but it's outside noise um and, and the culture that we've built we don't pay too much attention to it because at the end of the day um it's just all preseason stuff right there's here in about four to five months those are the things that don't matter um and so we just we keep stepping and and, and we take it day by day we win each day with intention um, and then we'll look up at the end and, and uh, we'll see how they match up. 